This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachel Bob here. Welcome to my in-game walkthrough of this live event, this completely new live event, the Treasure Hunt live event. This is the University of Brightchester edition of this. This is the first time we've had it. So I'm going to walk through it now it's live in the game. I know I've previously done a walkthrough with early access footage, but in this video it's just going to give you a bit more of an idea because I can actually play through it with you guys and show you how it works. I will be using SimCache to speed up the events, but apart from that I won't be using anything other than what I earn. And the reason I'm using it to speed up the events is just so I can get the video done for you guys. So here is Samuel Small Five Friday. And he's the new character with this. He's got a very flickery walkie-talkie for some reason. The Sim Explorers Guild is calling all aspiring treasure hunters. So you discover clues, which you earn from the Research Home Clue Hunt event. You find treasure, so you use the clues that you earned from that event to search for ancient relics and golden bunnies in other events. And you earn prizes by spending those ancient relics and golden bunnies on prizes and in this case it's the University of Brightchester event so they're all the, that theme of prizes in future there will be different prizes so this is our map some cool music you see the home icon that's gonna give us the clues that's the only thing that we can get clues from from this map then the other places the first two are unlocked by part one of small fries quest and the third one by part three and the fourth one by part six those are all places that you can spend your clues to earn the ancient relics and golden bunnies so it's 11 day event here and these are the grand prizes just scrolling through them there but if you want to see the prize line in full you can tap the icon on the left and this is our prize line so this is one of the things we can get but we will need those ancient relics and golden bunnies to be able to unlock these items we're going to get the basic colour option that it shows us here if we unlock it. We need the full line here to be able to get all the colour options. If any of this isn't clear, please comment below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. If you want to get to the treasure map at any time, we can tap top right here to open that up again. And we can access our home clue event just by tapping on the house. Or we can use a couch. I've got some couches downstairs, that's why those icons are showing up there as well. This is the quest that runs alongside it. Make sure you do this at the same time because that's going to unlock your other locations and you need those. So the first thing we need to do is start the Research Home Clue Hunt event. This is going to give us 10 clues and it's also going to unlock those first two locations. And you can see our reward here is a cut of arms shield. So you get a tiny little reward with this every time. This is going to run always alongside the Treasure Hunt live event. But you're always going to get a small little prize for completing it so let's tap for this and now we can see we can research home clue hunt event possible rewards for clues and 200 simoleons so i'll start that event so for the purpose of the video i'm going to speed up these events but i'm not going to use cupcakes in this even though it would work out cheaper for me i'm not going to use cupcakes to speed it up because that's going to give me extra ancient relics and I want this to be an honest representation of how many events you're going to have to do so I'm going to choose the slower option here and just speed it up okay Sierra Uniform Lima do you read me over hello yes I hear sorry read you copy that my name's Samuel Friday but people call me small fry I represent the Explorers Guild and I offer you my wisdom in the ways of treasure hunting how does that sound over Treasure? Sounds good to me. Oh, right. Over. Roger that. Look out for my instructions. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. Okay, so it says now quest part complete. All we had to do was start that event. We hadn't actually finished it, which is cool. So we'll collect that. Make sure you do collect. And we've got 10 clues and two treasure hunt event locations unlocked. So let's go. Now we need to earn 150 ancient relics and we'll get 40 as a reward plus four clues. So let's just finish this home clue event as if we have. So ignore the sim cash spent there. 
Now we've got four clues there and 200 simoleons. Unfortunately, I can't account for the extra it's giving me there for speeding it up. So apologies if that makes it a little misleading in terms of what we're earning. I'm trying to keep it as real as I can. No thanks. Got some XP there as well. Wonderful. Let's take a look at the map again, top right. Now, we can see here that we will have to wait an hour before we do the home clue event again, or I can rush it for 15 sim cash. Top left, you can see how many clues you have. So I currently have 14. I think I would have had 13, but because I sped that up, I've got 14. Fair enough, that's quite a big chunk. I can have maximum of 30, so it's important to keep spending those. So while I'm waiting for that home event to cool down, I can go and spend some clues at these other locations. So let's start with this top one. Investigation hidden documents, six hours. We need two clues to start and we'll get 30 ancient relics, 200 simoleons and 80 sim cash. So let's go in and try this out. Again, same length of the event. If you do have the good upbringing trait, if your sim has the good upbringing trait, it will make the event time smaller for you. So that's something to bear in mind as well. Okay, let's go. So again, we've got different animations and well, some of the animations are different, but there are different interactions and things. I will ruin those for you. I'll let you figure those out and see those on your own. So let's just speed this up. Okay, so we got 30 ancient relics, 200 simoleons and 80 XP standard. I got those extra bonus ones just for finishing that early. So let's try not to count those. And we do need 150 ancient relics for this quest step. Oh, you found some ancient relics. Here are some more to get you started. Thanks, small fry. Let's use them to dig up some treasure. Oh, okay. Let's go dig up some treasure. Let me just see how many... Oh, we've got 90 now. Well, that was generous. So if we... Oh, it's telling me to tap here to see my prizes. Yeah. Oh, so it's it's making me spend. I, I don't really want to, but thanks. <laughs> so you don't have to on that. You can tap away. Um, if you don't want those scales, you don't have to purchase those. We'll come look at this later, perhaps. As before, we can tap here to start this hidden documents again. But there is a cooldown timer for this as well. Let's take a look on the map. That's an eight hour cooldown timer for that one. You can rush that for 38 sim cash there. But we've also got this other location unlocked, which we can play for four clues. And we do have four clues. So let's go in here and we get 50 ancient relics as a reward and 100 million 60 XP. So let's go in. This is a special dig site location this will take four hours so let's go oh yeah we, we've seen thanks <laughs> okay so this works as a normal event these icons around here will give you the cute little animations and you can go in and do treasure hunting stuff if you do want to take a photo just scroll over to one of the locations open build mode open photo mode and scroll back that's the way you're going to be able to take photos here. Super cute. But on top of this, there is a dig site in the middle. You can see the big yellow arrow. That's just because the tutorial's open. So let's tap that. You'll need to use your walkie talkie each time you dig. I'll let you know the locations of the treasure. Okay, so this is like a little mini game. Five walkie talkies maximum. We've got five currently. We can dig with one. Those are our possible rewards this time. They will change. There's ancient relics and golden bunnies. Let's start digging. I've got a lead on more hidden treasure. Sending you the coordinates now. Marvellous. Right, so you just tap on one of the pulsing white dots. Now, if you want to get a head start, initially you can use 2,000 simoleons to get it to reveal the location of one of those items. But for this one, I'm not gonna do that because I can either get 50 ancient relics, 30 golden bunnies, or 50 ancient relics. So I need all of those things. So I might as well just tap one of them. So I'm gonna tap the one on the right. And there we go, we got ancient relics, awesome. 
We can dig again if we want to for 50 sim cash. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm good with my 50 ancient relics. So now let's take a look at how many ancient relics we have. 140, that's great. How many did we need? Oh, we only need 10 more. How wonderful. Right, so let's finish this event. And we've got 50 ancient relics there, 100 simoleons and 60 XP. And that quest part is now complete. So let's collect. Okay, the next part is to complete two research home clue hunt events and we'll get 10 golden bunnies, a clue boost of two. That basically means that whenever we do the home clue hunt event, we'll then get two extra clues on top of what we already get and an extra location here. Now there is a cooldown period still going on. So I'm going to rush that, but I think in all honesty, when you're playing this, an hour's not that long before that event comes around again and you can play it by the time you've done the other events as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's just speed that up and go back in. And I'll just do two of these really quickly. Based off the research I've done, I think I found a new expedition location, Over, Good work. Being an explorer is fun, isn't it? You forgot to say Over, Over. That was a test. Congratulations, you passed over and out. <laughs> okay, so we've finished that part of the quest. Let's collect those items. And that's what we've unlocked. Let's go. Next thing is to complete five expedition events. Again, that's something you do naturally, but make sure you're ticking these things off the quest, otherwise it'll be a bit of a problem. So let's open the map again. And you can see we've got a new expedition location that will cost six clues. We have 20 in the bag, so let's go in. Starting it, and we can work as a normal event, but let's do the mini event in the middle. We've got four walkie talkies left, so let's spend another one. Okay, send in the coordinates now. Let's see what the prizes can be. Ooh, okay. I don't really want the cupcake, and I do have some simoleons, so I'm going to spend my 2,000 simoleons. Oh, yes, and it told me where the cupcake is, so I don't mind risking it for the other two. I'm going to tap top left. And I got ancient relics again. Okay, the golden bunnies are the most valuable, but that's fine, we'll leave it there. I think the way I'm doing this is definitely the way I would suggest you play, but please let me know if you ha if you think of any good tips along the way. We can tap that dig site again, and we can dig again and use our walkie talkies if we want to. The walkie talkies will refresh, as you can see in five hours time, you'll get more walkie talkies. I'm going to leave them for now. I'm going to see how we get on for events and prizes as we go through. So let's just speed this up. Okay, awesome. So I've done one expedition event out of five. I'm going to carry on and do more of them, but I'm going to need to rush some. So I think I'm just going to rush them all. You can see the lengths versus the amount you get. I think this one's actually the best one to go in and do. Hmm. Let's see. Just based on the cooldown time and things like that. I probably should have done the walkie talkie event while I was there. Ooh, that's a good tip actually. Make sure you do them while you're in there, otherwise you have to use other clues because it's only available when you're actually in that event. So I'll go do two in this one, why not? I need six to get in here, that's okay. Yeah, we definitely should do these while we're here. Oh, 
Okay, I don't mind any of these prizes. I'm going to tap bottom. Okay, ancient relics. That's all good. Finish. I think I'll do two in this one, just seeing as I missed one in the last one. Oh, they're all good in this. Top left. Ancient relics. It was the highest ancient relics there. Okay, now let's finish that event. Get our prizes. We're on target. We need two more expedition events. Now bear in mind, this is an investigation event. It doesn't count towards that target. We need to do these two bottom events. These are expedition events. This one is has a four hour cooldown and a 24 sim cash rush. Let me just rush that. And you need four clues to get in. This one has an eight hour cooldown, a 38 sim cash rush. Let's rush it. And you need six clues to get in. So just bear these things in mind. Now I've only got four clues left currently. So I'm going to go back into this event. I'm going to use my remaining walkie talkie. While I'm here. Hi, all good rewards. So I'll go for the one on the right. Oh yes. I had a good feeling about that one. Golden bunnies. Okay, now finish this event. So now you can see we've got 40 golden bunnies, 730 ancient relics, and no clues left. All walkie talkies. So if we try and go into this event right now, we need six clues. We don't have any. Let's see what message we get. Yeah, we don't have the missing clues and it costs 300 sim cash to do them. So you could do that or you could rush this event if you want to use sim cash. That would be the best option. I'll just wait for it and do it. But if you're going to use sim cash, don't spend it on getting the clues that way. Make sure you just rush this event to go there. So let's go. We see we've got our clue boost there. So it crossed off the four clues earned and made it six clues earned because we had that clue boost from the previous quest step. You see it just changes there, four to six. That's because we got our clue boost on the, on the quest step. So we've now got six clues which is enough to go in here to this expedition event. Now we don't have enough walkie talkies. Oh my goodness. You can wait for a recharge or you can pay 60 sim cash to get another one. Now my advice would be here to make sure you're spending your walkie talkies as a maximum. Use them as you're in these expedition events so that you can make sure they refresh in good time. So let's finish this event. our prizes and that should take it off on the quest yeah there we go let's take that off okay part five of eight to complete two investigation events this is going to give us 80 ancient relics and eight clues let's go up here so the investigation event is this one we need two clues to get in that's okay because we have two clues we actually have six clues so let's go in finish this up and that has now ticked one off we need to do one more now this is the only one we've currently got so that does have an eight hour cooldown which you'll have to wait for so keep doing your home clue events and all your other events as and when you can for the purpose of the video i will just rush this and go back in i do have enough clues so that's great and that's just from doing what we've done, which is great. Okay, so that part's now ticked off. We'll get our clues and our ancient relics. The next part is to complete three research home clue hunt events. These you'll be doing naturally anyway. This is going to give you 20 golden bunnies and a clue boost of two plus that final location. So we're currently getting six clues from the home event. This is going to make it so we get eight. 
So let's go to the map. I'm going to rush it, but I think an hour cooldown, you should be fine just to wait. So yeah, we started at four, we've got a clue boost, so we're getting six, and after this quest step, we're gonna get a clue boost again, so we'll get eight every time we do this. So let's start. Okay, it's six hours. Again, a boost if you have the good upbringing trait, so use a sim with that if you can. I'm not sure that I have a sim with that trait, but I will just check. I've not been very good with my sim's upbringings. Oh, he has it. My goodness, his outfit. So let's call this guy over and we'll get him to do it this time and just see how the event changes. He has a good upbringing trait, so it's taken it down to 5 hours 43 minutes. It's not a great deal, but it does help. need to do it one more time. We're getting close to that 30 clues. I think I might do it two more times and just see what happens if you do earn more than the amount of clues you can hold. Although currently it's not giving us incentive to do that which is good and we're making sure we spend them as much as we can. If you guys want to read this stuff feel free to pause the video. Quest part is complete there, but let's just look. Right, we've got 28 out of 30 clues. Let's see what happens if we earn more clues than we can hold. Storage full. You've reached your storage capacity for clues and can't receive any more. Do you want to collect anywhere or wait until you have storage? Well, that's good. So we can cancel it and leave him in that event to collect when we need them. Or we can just collect and lose. In fact, let's just collect and lose and see if we get two at least. Or if we lose all of them. Just doing this for science. <laughs> so you can see for yourself if that ever happens to you. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we've just got 30 out of 30. So we did at least get the two. Anyway, quest part complete. We've got those 20 golden bunnies, a clue boost of two, and the final event is now unlocked. And now we need to complete Small Fry's dig site three times. And, and I think by this time your walkie talkies will have refreshed from doing them previously if you've been naturally playing without rushing like I am. But be aware that this quest step is coming up and, and make sure you're gonna have three walkie talkies at that time. So this is the event that's just unlocked, the last one on the little timeline on X marks the spot. So let's go in here, we need 10 clues but you get lots more rewards in this one. This is your golden bunny heaven. This is going to be an 8 hour event but he's got the good at bringing traits so that's what it makes it. So I'm going to use my sim cash to get some walkie talkies because I want to be able to tick this off for you guys but I wouldn't recommend you do that. I would definitely recommend waiting and making sure you have them. Oh, Lama's Gym tokens, we don't want those. I'm gonna spend simoleons on this one. Oh, and it didn't tell me. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna spend more simoleons now. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can get the golden bunnies now because I know where they are. And you can't do it three times, so you wouldn't need to do it three times, so that's good. I've avoided Lama's Gym tokens. Although they are useful right now, I don't need them. I'm gonna do that again. Again, do not re recommend doing that. Just wait. <laughs> okay, there. Are, mm, I don't want simoleons, so I'm gonna spend some to try and avoid that. Oh no! And again. Okay, get the golden bunnies. Actually, it's cheaper for me to dig again here than it is to go out and get another walkie-talkie. It's like 10 sim cash cheaper. So I'm going to tap dig again. Oh, but I can only... It's a sim dig site, so I can only get the ancient relics. But that's cool. At least it takes it off my quest. So let's come out of this. We can dig again for... If we want all the prizes, we can dig again for five cupcakes. But let's just come out. Oh heck so yeah that was the same dig site so it doesn't take it off twice <laughs> all for science right i'm gonna spend the sim cash go back in right 
Oh, they're all good prizes, so I'm not going to spend anything this time. I'm going to go for the one on the right. Yes. Oh, that seems to be good for, for golden bunnies. All right, let's take that off now. 100 ancient relic reward. Now we need to earn 30 golden bunnies. I think that's pretty good because this event gives us a lot of golden bunnies. Let's finish it. I'm glad I left that open and didn't just finish it. Gives us 40 golden bunnies. Try and queue up your games, guys. I hope this video helps you learn what's what and get this in your head. You can be super strategic here. Okay, again, pause the video if you want to read this. And we finished the quest. So we've now got our coat of arms shield. That will be different with every single quest. Um, so let's go to Darth Vader's house and go in here and in recent and we can get this coat of arms and pop it up here this is it quite nice detail six different colors the dark ones are very dark i think i'll go with that one it's just a decoration so you can just view that yeah darth approves all right, so all there is to do now, we've done the quest, we've got everything unlocked, and we're on our way with tokens and things. Now, at any time, you can buy prizes if you've got the amounts that you want to spend. So this is how the prize bow works, and we're currently looking at the University of Brightchester items. So let's say, hmm, I really, really want that bar. I want to know what it's all about, the bar and the third row down. And that's the only item that I'm interested in. I really want to know what that's about, but I can't just unlock it. You can tap on it and you can look at it, but I can't unlock it. It's a stylish student bar. I'm going to need to unlock the two items above it and the two items above each of those, which is three items. So I need to unlock this chair and this bookcase. In, in order to unlock the chair I need the skills and the rug above it and in order to unlock the bookcase I need the rug and the chair above that. So basically I need to unlock the scales, the rug, the chair, then the chair and the bookcase and then I will get the option to unlock the bar. So let's unlock the scales and see how much we can get for the money we've got anyway. So I can purchase those scales. Okay great. And I'll get the rug awesome thanks so much and the chair yeah right okay so now i can unlock the chair and the bookcase awesome you can unlock anything on the top row at any time but when i unlock this bookcase i now get access to the bar that i want great and i have enough to get it awesome yes so now i've got the bar that's amazing but I only get the bar in the one colour. If I want the bar in all the colour options, I'm going to need to unlock every single thing in that row. And in order to unlock every single thing in that row, I need to unlock everything in all the rows above it. So you'll see currently, if I go into my recents tab, you can see my stylish student bar, which automatically gets paced diagonally because it's, it's that cool. I'm just going to place it here. This is a really cool item. You can see everything is locked and there will be no option to unlock these colours in future. You have to do it during this event. But this is a pretty cool bar so I definitely want to try and unlock it in every colour. So let's come back in and unlock everything now and see how far the tokens that we've earned so far get us. And these are all the tokens that you will get by doing by working your way through the quest so we'll get the skirt and the deep cut v-neck oh okay and now because we've unlocked everything in that row all the color options have unlocked for those items but now i don't have enough for the next row down so i will have to go back in and earn these items I think once you've narrowed down what you actually want, like if you're not going for the grand prize, you can definitely be more specific about which events you do. But don't forget, if you do need clues, you need to do that event at home. So I need a lot more, but you just need to be aware of 
the costs and things. I do have a chart on my website that shows you the costs of each block of this. I'll put a link in the description just so you can be aware of exactly what you need to earn. So currently I need 250 ancient relics and for that one I need 170. The prices are pretty high. It's definitely an incentive to do the dig sites as well. But if you just want that lamp and that's all you want then don't do this expedition event because all this is going to give you is golden bunnies. Make sure you're doing the events that match up with what you actually want to get. Plus there's also this pack which you may or may not want to buy to get that quick boost. Another quick tip before I go is you can actually earn ancient relics from llama zoom events and also from regular events so make sure to stay as active as possible in every aspect of the game to increase your chances of getting the prizes that you want. Now I hope this video has helped you out and you now have a greater idea of what you need to do and there's some hints and tips in there for you. But please do let me know if you have any questions and if you want to see the prizes placed and a little demo of what each of them do for this University of Brightchester treasure hunt or any future treasure hunt live event, please do let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Good luck!